Good morning, children, liturgy students. It is Sunday, October the 24th, and I hope that you had a great Thanksgiving weekend last weekend. And I'm very excited to share with you a wonderful story today, a miracle that Jesus performed. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. That is what Bartimaeus said to Jesus. And we're going to find out about that. So let's get started. You can see on my computer, I have a picture of it. And you can see that the man, Bartimaeus, is not doing well. He's begging Jesus to help him. So let's find out what it is the problem. So it is Sunday, October the 24th, and it is the 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our first reading is from the book of Jeremiah. Our God says, shout with joy, sing praise. I will bring my people back to their home. I will gather them from all over the world where they have been scattered. I will bring those who are blind and those who are crippled. I will comfort them and lead them to refreshing waters. I will lead them on a straight road so that no one will stumble and fall. For they are my children and I will take care of them. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song is Psalm 146. I praise you, O God, for your faithful love. I praise you, O God, for your faithful love. I praise you, O God, for all that you do. I praise you, O God, for all that you do. You free the oppressed and save the poor. I praise you, O God, for your faithful love. I praise you, O God, for all that you do. The hungry are fed and the blinds can see. I praise you, O God, for your faithful love. I praise you, O God, for all that you do. Happy are all who hope in you. I praise you, O God, for your faithful love. I praise you, O God, for all that you do. The Gospel Acclamation. Your word brings us healing. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word makes us hear good news. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word makes us speak good news. Alleluia, alleluia. The Gospel According to Mark. One day, as Jesus and his disciples were leaving the city of Jericho, there was a blind man sitting by the side of the road begging. His name was Bartimaeus. And when Bartimaeus heard that it was Jesus who was walking by, he called out, Jesus, have pity on me. Help me. Some of the people who were there scolded the blind man and told him to be quiet. But he shouted even louder, Jesus, have pity on me. Help me. Jesus stopped and said, tell the man to come here. So they said to Bartimaeus, have courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. So the man jumped up, left his coat by the road and ran to Jesus. Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said, teacher, I want to be able to see. The blind man said, then Jesus said, you are healed because you believed in me. Immediately, the man was able to see, and he became a disciple and began to follow Jesus on the road. This is the good news of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't that amazing? Let's all close our eyes for a minute. Let's all close our eyes. And all that we see is darkness. We can't see what we're wearing. We can't see where we are. We can't see who is with us just darkness. Now let's open our eyes. It's kind of scary to be in the dark like that. And that's how Bartimaeus was. Now imagine if you cannot see, right? They didn't have the things they have now, like Braille and train people to do jobs. This man was begging, so that means he was hungry, which means he had no job. He couldn't take care of himself. He couldn't give himself food or a bed to sleep. And he just relied on people giving him, you know, money or food. So Bartimaeus was in a pretty bad way, but yet he knew who Jesus was. He knew, he said, son of David, help me, right? Son of David, help me. He knew 
Jesus felt sorry for him. Jesus knew he needed help. And Jesus said, um, you are healed because you believed in me. And that's what we need to do. When we pray, we have to believe. Believe that Jesus hears our prayers. He always hears our prayers. And believe that Jesus will answer your prayers either the way you expect or even better. I always say that Jesus always hears our prayers and he always answers our prayers, but he is God and he knows what's best for us. Just like a mom and dad knows what's best. Like a mom and dad will know that, you know, you need to go to bed at night so that you can sleep and rejuvenate. Your mom and dad know that you need to eat good food to grow and be strong. So God knows what we need. But we have to believe that God will protect us. After all, who made us? Exactly. God loves, can you imagine that somebody loves you more than your mom and dad? And that's Jesus, right? The Holy Spirit, God, the Trinity, right? One God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They love you more than anybody on this earth can possibly love you because they made you. And they want you to have a big, full life. And they want you to be with them in heaven. And Bartimaeus called out to Jesus, and Jesus, because you believe in me, you were healed. Jesus hears our prayers. Jesus knows what we need even before we ask him. We need to trust God and never worry. Know that God is always taking care of you. Have an absolutely wonderful week. God bless you and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.